Hey folks, welcome back to the big board. So yeah, what do we got? We got uh, Heights of Courage just arrived. And uh, I'm kind of at the end of my tether today, I'm a little bit worn out, but I could not resist the opportunity to have a quick look at, least, at this game. That's uh, something we've been waiting on a while, and uh, I know folks are pretty excited to see it. There have already been some pictures popped up of the counters in the map. But let's actually open it up and have a good look at it. You probably know this is set in 73 around the same time as Yom Kippur. And in fact, you can uh, play the games in tandem, although you cannot link them. Uh, but you can play them in tandem. And so it can really gives you a good feel for... Uh, the uh, October 73 uh, surprise attack to uh, recapture the goal on heights. Nicely packaged again. Um, there we go. <clears throat> so the front cover has uh, some nice artwork on it, and I've only ever seen smaller pictures of this, so uh, hard to say whose tank that is. Looks more like a Soviet main tank, but I'm probably wrong. And then we've got a jet flying through in the background, doing a rollover. So a nice box uh, artwork. And uh, yeah, here we go. So I mean, if you don't know anything about the game, I guess I can read the blurb to you, but. October 73, Syria and her allies in conjunction with the Egyptian assault, with an Egyptian assault into the Sinai across the Suez, led a surprise attack to recapture the Golan Heights. Yada, yada, yada. Both sides will have offensive and defensive capabilities. I think this will be the 15th and 16th. Uh, yeah, 16th uh, title. Um, and I did not know that uh, Yom Kippur actually won a. Uh, won an award. So that's interesting. Alright, let's see. I like the boxes that uh, MMP are making now. They're, they seem to be a lot sturdier. Your standard two dice. Yeah, it's interesting that uh, this is 515, so it, Obviously, it was expected to come out before it never snows, <coughs> but it did not. You've got your uh, system specific, or I should say, uh, module specific rules, which I'm going to guess. Let's see. Terrain. The sequence of play. Okay, so this is interesting. Uh, Syrian player turn, you do artillery recovery, reinforcements, movement, supply, then you do the Israeli exploitation phase. Combat phase, exploitation phase, and supply phase. The Israeli player turn, we do RT, reinforcements, movement, combat, exploitation phase, and supply phase. So I'll be curious to read about what that is. HQs can uh, provide supply and combat odds. They have no attack strength, but defense strength of one. Oh, I see. So this is normal or fast tempo sequence, and here we have a slow tempo, which still places the Israeli exploitation phase at the end of the Syrian player turn. Okay, so that's going to be an interesting little uh, exercise to read about. Uh, we're on to page four of the rules. Yeah, mobile movement, so we'll still have some of that from Yom Kippur. Strong points. Very handsome man. There's a lot of space dedicated to him. Uh, this is uh, possibly Mr. Zivka. For Zivka. And then we're on to scenario. So seven, you know, let's call it six pages of uh, rules. And then you've got the long and short versions of the scenarios, arrivement schedules, 
Israeli order of arrival, etc., etc. Selected bibliographies, play notes, blah, 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 blah. Combat results table. Standard fare, except, yeah, pretty much the same as, as most of the other games. It's always deadly for both sides. You roll less than a seven, you're in trouble on four to one or less. All right, uh, that's that. Fine, the counters. You can see that just fine, probably. It's a very similar look and feel to Yom Kippur, uh, although I must say the, uh, the colors, and it might just be the age of my uh, Yom Kippur copy, the colors look a little more vibrant on this one. We've got some nice color banding for the different formations. And uh, artistic renderings. I don't know if you can see that or not in there. If I can zoom in on there for you. Renderings on the on the jets and on the uh, on the trucks and stuff. Sorry about the shine there, a little bit shiny, but not nothing terrible. Standard rules. <coughs> zoomed in a little uh, too close for you to see the whole map and I'm not using my webcam so you'll have to bear with me. It is a one mapper which I think we all knew. So over on that start on the right hand side uh, where we have Lebanon and Mount Hermon or Hermon Forces starting here, Najef, and then here's Israel at the top, is at the top of the map, and the Jordan River across the you just can't, you probably can't see that. So let's do this. Bring it a little closer for you. And we've got shadows and all sorts of fun things. Anyway, uh, this is the map. So you've probably all seen the uh, the artistic renderings of it previously. Israeli, Israeli reinforcements coming from over here. Uh, you've got your uh, green line, and that's the 49 boundary. Let's just see if there's anything of note here. There's your little uh, work down the bottom with some tanks, Jordan, turn track at the top. Let me show you that real quick. Turn track and phase track. Oh, okay, so it's turn sequence phase. That's interesting. So. We'll have a look at that in a second. But here's your uh, keeping track of whether or not there's a ceasefire. And this looks like air support and reinforcements or replacements capabilities. Uh, availabilities, I should say. You've got your tech chart right here. And this is... Okay, so then this looks like you go through this to uh, conduct your uh, turn sequence, and whether you're using normal or fast. Uh, turn sequence, and I bet that's driven by uh, <coughs> the decision making, one of the decisions you need to make as you play the game. Alright, so that's the game real quick, there you go. I've got that map folder wrong, but that's fine. We're looking at, uh, now I didn't see, so there is no linking, uh, unless there's notes in the back, so let's see if there's any. tempo rule, that's what we were just talking about. No, it doesn't look like there are any linking rules or anything like that, so it's something I have to work it ourselves. Um, we're actually talking about uh, second week in April of putting this and Yom Kippur up together side by side and, uh, and doing a side by side play. Uh, there'll be probably four of us, I guess, uh, doing that. Anyway, that's uh, Yom Kippur. That's Yom, not Yom Kippur, that's Hides of Courage for you. I hope you guys enjoyed that. A quick look, and we'll talk to you soon.